Hey, how's it going guys? So today we are going through the cow salt filtration system. This is the chemical startup kit that you receive once you get your spa. We're gonna go through it, make sure all the items that are in here is what also you have, okay? So, when we open up the box, we're gonna have our owner's manual. It's gonna have instructions to start up your spa, maintain your spa. We also have the carbon filter. This is gonna connect to your garden hose at home to fill up your spa. These are your test strips. This is your spa salt. We have two bags, five pounds each. This is gonna be your pH decreaser, your pH increaser. This is gonna be your chlorinating concentrate. So everything you see here should come in the CalSalt Filtration Chemical Starter Kit. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fill up your spa using the carbon filter. Okay, so you're gonna take off the cap right here. Put it aside. It's gonna to connect to your garden hose at home. Just twist it on, just like this. Okay, you're gonna use this to put in your filter and you're gonna fill up your spa with it. All right, so you're just gonna remove the skimmer. You're gonna twist off the filter. You're just gonna pull it out. So you're gonna grab your garden hose. You're gonna place it inside. You're just gonna let it fill. Okay, so now that your spa is filled, you're gonna turn on the spa from the breaker and your spa is gonna go into a priming mode. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit jets one twice, jets two once, and you're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. Okay, now it's time to test your water. So we're gonna get out our test strips. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna submerge it for about 15 seconds. Once you're done submerging, do not shake off the excess water. We're gonna leave that on. So to get your chart, we're gonna just gonna pull back the label here on the bottle, and that will reveal your chart right there. So we're gonna hold it down for a couple more seconds. Okay, I think it's done. All right, so we're gonna test it against the chart. So we're gonna see that our pH levels are actually off according to the chart. Okay, so now that we've tested our water, our pH balance test strip was off. So the proper levels of the pH balance should be between 7.2 and 7.6. Our levels show we were at 8.0. So we're gonna add two teaspoons of the pH decreaser into the spa. But before we do that, we have to have our spa running. We're gonna put the jets on. Okay, so after I add the chemicals to the spa, we're gonna let the spa run on high speed with the jets on for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back and test the results. Okay, everything seems fine here on our pH levels. Okay, so we've tested the water for the pH levels. Now we're gonna test it for the chlorine, but on our test strips, our chlorine shows that we were okay. We were within range. I'm gonna grab the chlorinating concentrate. But for your spa, you're gonna follow the directions on the bottle. Um, yours level should be between three and five parts per million, and that's how much you're gonna to add to your spa. All right, so now that we've tested the waters for its salinity, and according to our test strips, we have to add 10 pounds of salt to the spa, okay? So I'm gonna turn on the spa, and we're gonna turn on the jets. Get out your salt test strips. The instructions indicate you add a small sample of water from the spa into a clean cup. So I got my cup right here. Place the test strip into the cup. Once the line shows a dark color, go ahead and remove it. Place it against the chart in the back of the bottle. The proper salt level should be at 5.4 and it looks like our test strip levels are within range. Okay, so now that we've tested the water for its pH levels, its salinity, and its chlorine levels, now we're going to run the CalSalt filtration system, okay? A 7-foot spa is going to run you 3 hours, an 8-foot spa is going to run you 4 hours, and a 13-foot spa is going to run you 10 hours. Alright, to adjust the salt filtration system, you're just going to hold down the button for about 3 seconds. And once it flashes, you're going to put it down to 4. This spa that we're using is an 8-foot spa, so we're going to set it to 4 hours. And if you look to the right, you will see the units start to work. 
Okay, so as regular maintenance, you're going to want to replace your filter and your cell block. For right now, we're going to remove the skimmer. It's not required, but we're just going to show it for the example. And we're just going to pull gently on the cord and then remove this grommet. We're just going to wiggle it back and forth very gently. We're going to pull on the cord. We're going to grab the connector. We're just going to twist it off. And we're just going to move this back and forth. It's going to disconnect pretty easily. Now it's important not to get that cord wet. So I have a piece of tape right there just to hold it down. Then you're going to want to change your cell block. But first you're going to take off the grommet. Pretty easy to take off just like that. Put that to the side. Grab your new cell block. And you're going to want to connect the grommet to the cord. All right, then you're going to want to screw that back together. Take out the piece of tape. You're going to feed it into your spa. Just place it back pretty carefully. Then you're going to want the grommet to be facing downwards, just like that. You're going to push it in, kind of just wiggle it in there. You're going to put the cell block back where in its cage. Just like that. 